All right, the next one I want to show you is a Google Map plugin. So let's go over to the Locations tab. Uh, to make this particular plugin work, what you need are the latitude and longitude of the location. So you can use various services to get that information. Perhaps one of the most popular is Google's G-coder, uh, geocoder service. Um, any would really work. Uh, all you need is Latin Longe, and these are just separated by a comma. So when I drill into New York, currently I can change the values, but I don't see a map of the location. And Apex has never provided a region that would show me a location based on latitude and longitude. But there is a plugin that will. So let's install the plugin and then put it to use. We'll go back to the shared components and in the plugins, go ahead and import another. Next one I want to bring in is this simple Google map. Okay. Now I've installed the plugin. It's now in the application. And notice under the settings section, there's an attribute for an API key. So if you want to use a lot of Google services, you need one of these keys. And I'm going to replace that with a key that will work here like that. Click Apply Changes. So I only have to do that once because it's at the shared components level and it will affect all of the uh, instances of the plugin within the application. So we'll go to edit the page, and what I want to do is add not a new item like I did before, but a new region to the page that'll show us a map. I'll right click on where I want to put the region and go to create. And again, notice the new plugins option. So we'll select that, choose the simple Google map. And here we have an example of some of the, uh, the instance level or individual component level settings. The height and width look all right. I'll go ahead and point this to the item that contains our latitude and longitude. So for me, that's going to be P4 lat launch. The item containing the, the name of the location is for me, P4 name. So once I've entered those, I can continue. And I'll just go ahead and create the region. Run the page now. And as you can see, without really any knowledge of how to work with Google Maps, apart from the fact that we need an API key, we're able to put Google Maps right into our applications. Uh, this particular one was made for an actual address, right? I, I need to really zoom out to, to tell that that's New York, but as you can see, it, it works fine. Check out another location, like Rhode Island. Of course, we would need to zoom out. But you get the idea, right? Very easy to install and use plugins. Everything is declarative. 